Oh, you do, says William. Um, well, I intended to show you guys a video of me hefting this ax or putting a new handle in this ax. It's a Collins two and a quarter. And the handle is a hickory handle that I got from um, Whiskey River Trading Company. And this is a second handle that I've gotten from them. First one was a handle that I got in, um, I think it was 2017. They was at Canterbury's gathering in Ohio and I was there and I told them the ax I had, it was the Hudson Bay, Collins Hudson Bay vintage ax head that I had. And he gave me, or uh, recommended a handle, handed me a handle from one of his vintage piles. And the handle fit perfect. It, um, I mean, I had to do a little tweaking, carving here and there, but it was a perfect fit for that ha that head. And so I contacted him about this one. I've had this ax head for probably 12 years. And I put a cheap handle in it. I bought this, the head off of um, eBay. And I put a cheap handle in it because I didn't know where to get a handle. So I just had a handle that was at a, a local hardware store and it really wasn't very good. And so anyway, it was needed to be replaced. And uh, so I contacted them and told them what I had. And he recommended this 24 inch hickory handle. And I got it, a little bit of carving, uh, but the Nessie took care of it. No issues. Uh, I mean, I just got done. I just checked my, my video. I was going to edit the video, and there's no video of me doing this. But anyway, this is the Nessie I use. I mean, I use this on everything. And I I promise, man, I have not touched this knife up, and it, it still it still shaved. Even that old hard hickory, it was still shaved. I mean, if you can see the, the hair on that. Um, so I can't say enough about the little Nessie of the steel. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Whiskey River Trading. Phenomenal company. Um, anytime I run across a company that, that does good work, that is quality, that um, is customer oriented, then I want to let you guys know about it. So if you need an ax handle or anything to do with axes, they have council axes there. I think I bought a couple of axes from them as well. Uh, phenomenal tools. Contact them, give them a shot at what you need. And I'm sure they can they can meet your needs. So anyway, I will put the um, the the website below in the description if you need that. But it's it's simple. It's Whiskey Trading Company. Okay, pretty much all you need. And it'll pop right up. But anyway, the uh, the website will be in the description below. All right. Now the other thing is uh, today I'm going to take care of some um, videos. I try to do this video twice, or this makes the third time now first time was in the when I did the grill outside last weekend uh, and then I put the music too loud over what I was trying to say about it so but this axe deserved uh, a little bit more than that and this axe right here is called the Wayfarers axe and it is from the uh, Woodsman's Finest website and again I will put the link in the description below for this axe or website uh, if you have not seen the Woodsman's Finest uh, website, he does a lot of spoon carving and things like that on his website, and he also has um, tutorials and a lot of stuff. If you're interested in carving or, or woodcraft of, of that nature, um, then you've got to watch this guy. He is a professional. This is a, a truly an expert in the craft, in my opinion. Uh, so anyway... This is an axe that he has designed and commissioned a forge in the Ukraine, I think. Um, it took me about a month to get this axe, but just look at the quality of this. I mean, the wood, this ash handle, it has some type of finish on it. I'm not sure what, but it, I mean, it has great texture. It has an oval handle to where you can grip it and it doesn't want to twist in your hand. Just first impressions. Look at the mask that it came with. I mean, just complete quality. That has to be at least nine, 10 ounce leather, I would say. Um, just quality, quality, quality. And again, I want you guys to know when I run across a company that has quality products and uh, is customer oriented, that 
You guys know about it. And so this is the reason I'm telling you about this. I love this axe because the balance is right there. This is their Wayfarer or his Wayfarer model. He has many different models. But this is the Wayfarer. The axe head, and there's the balance of it. So, I mean, it's, it's very balanced. When you're up there carving and chopping with this axe, it, I mean, it, it just, again, I like balanced things because when they're balanced, they don't tire you out so quick. Uh, the axe head, the weight on it is about 1.3 something pounds. So it, it, it's a great weight. It has a good point on it for doing those, um, when you're trying to do those uh, cleaver cuts, I guess you would call it, when you're trying to snap those scissors off, instead of using a knife, you're just using the axe head to do the fine carving. Um, the head is kind of round, but it's not round. Um, so much that it sticks into what you're, you're carving against, like the anvil of a block or a stump or whatever. It doesn't stick in there. You know, you get those axes that stick and you're constantly trying to pull it out. This one doesn't do that. And it has something to do with a, a little bit of the design of the curve of the head, as well as the, the uh, grind of the, the edge. And let, let's talk about that for a second. The steel is 52-100 ball bearing steel. And the, the heat treat on this is spot on, spot on. Um, there's the, uh, the forges right there, if you, can, if you can pronounce that. I can't, but maybe you can. And this is uh, Woodsman's Finest logo on the other side. But it's 52,100 ball bearing. And again, the, the heat treat on this is spot on, okay? Uh, it, holds, it holds a very good edge. Uh, I carved those two spoons out of uh, red oak. Uh, there was two of them. I only showed one on the camera, but I did two of them that day. And um, I just took it back when I took it back in the house and hit it with a strop a few times, and it was back hair popping sharp. So it's, it's a very good heat treat. No chipping, no dings. I mean, the, the edge is just phenomenal. But the other thing about this is he calls it a 30 degree Scandi edge, which you can you can kind of see that. If I hold the axe like this, you can kind of see that, but it's almost convex. I don't know if it'd be a scandivex. I don't think it is a true V grind. Um, maybe when they stropped it from the factory with belts or whatever they did, they kind of convexed it a little bit. But either way, it, it, it works. Um, it, it's a very good grind because it doesn't stick into what you're, you're carving against, like a stump or whatever, but it bites into what you're carving. So it's a very good edge for carving. But it also does kindling very well because it has a wedge, that wedge effect. A lot of times the carving axes are too thin right in here and all it's good for is just carving. I mean, it's a carving axe. But this one is very versatile. Uh, you saw me split uh, the, the red oak uh, to build a fire with uh, last weekend um, with this axe and it split it very well. Um, so you could use this axe as a, a little belt hatchet if you wanted to and do kindling and things like that very easily in addition to the carving. But um, anyway, you get out here on the end, has a little bit of weight forward so that you could, I mean, you wouldn't want to chop down a tree with it, but it, it does have enough weight forward that, that you could do some of those camp chores with it, pound in steaks and whatever. But anyway, I, I thought that this axe deserved a better review than what um, I did with the grill, with uh, it taught me the, the music talking, or louder than me talking, <laughs> so to speak. So anyway, um, phenomenal job, and I can't pronounce the guy's name, um, but so I'm not going to try. But go check his channel out, The Woodsman's Finest, on YouTube, and also his website. Um, he's a very talented young man, and um, if you want, if you know anything or want to learn anything about carving spoons, he's the guy I recommend to go watch. Okay, and his tools. I've got this one axe, and if any of them are like this, he's got Leon Hoffman also axes, and uh, I would love to have one of those if I could get my hands on one. But um, anyway, he he has quality stuff there. If they, it's half as good as what this is. And I'm sure it is. So, anyway, I wish, man, I, I'm, I'm sick about this 
this handle did not, I, I don't know what happened. I was recording fine. And then all of a sudden it just kicked off. So I'm not sure what happened. But um, anyway, it was fun. It was a fun Saturday little thing. I've been intending to do this for a long time. Uh, but um, this Saturday I just said, hey, we're going to get her done. So until the next one, you guys get in the backyard, whittle on a stick. Be sure and take a child with you get the opportunity. And uh, don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. And we'll catch you guys again soon, probably in just a few minutes, so I'll give you an update of where we're at on the shop. Talk to you soon.